Hi, I'm Ed Kane, and here in this issue we're talking a little bit about your New Year's resolutions. And we are talking a little bit about this because it turns out that for those of us who are trying to change a bad habit, 98% of us will fail. And this is just some historic and scientific studies that have, have said this. 98% of us will fall into this uh, routine and come back to their old habits. So think about this. If you thought of that challenge as something that you will do by force of will alone, there are so many factors in this world. Let's say you want to lose weight. It turns out that uh, many of us are going to maybe attempt to lose weight and many of us will cycle through a little bit of weight loss, but to keep it on for uh, two years or five years, to keep that weight off, that would be only maybe 20% of the people that, that try this according to the Vital Smarts team. So if you're thinking about this, what is it? And we call it the willpower trap. The willpower trap says that, oh, if I just don't look at the Doritos, don't look at the, that tantalizing food, uh, I'll be able to resist it. I just my willpower must exceed the power of these influence factors. But instead, if you want to think about consciously looking at this, instead of it being a willpower, which we call this, you know, a personal personal motivation trumping all the other factors. Now remember, there's an incredible advertising culture that's selling us these things over and over again, motivating us through many different ways, saying, it's okay, you'll be wonderful, all these other factors that are coming up. So it's about understanding this. And in their book called Influencer, the Vital Smarts team set up many experiments and tried to figure out what would be the methods of influence. And they d developed this influence model, which simply goes like this. So if you'll see, I'll, and I'll uh, set this up for you a little bit. There are really only, there are personal factors, there are social factors, and then there are institutional factors. And there is something called motivation, and there is ability. So if you were to think about everything that came at you, if you were to succeed in that weight loss goal, you might, you might attribute it to your willpower, and that you are an exceptional uh, person of strong willpower. You have personal motivation and you did it all yourself. Or, if you fail, oh, that's my own willpower, I failed in my willpower. Now remember, 98% will fail in cha to change a bad habit. So, just through a resolution. So, if you were to think about this as the willpower trap, that it's all your willpower that gets to do this, not counting all the other factors that are making this very difficult for you to do. There's a lot of factors that are, that are trying to sell you that high calorie thing, that selling you, selling you, selling you these things that are not necessarily good for you. So what we're trying to do is make you aware of those. And what we'll talk about is just some skills that you can use to kind of defeat some of those bad habits. We're going to particularly apply this to some skills that we can use to beat smoking. Uh, just because it's a good example, I think even if you're not a good, good, uh, if you're not a smoker, and but just to look at the article on quitting smoking. There's two articles on quitting smoking, and we want you to take a look at the, the one, and then we're going to give you some tips on what we call the four Ds, which is kind of a method to help you get through that very rough struggle. So we're going to, again, talk about in other articles more about this influence model and how you can be aware as you tackle your New Year's resolution. See you soon.